discussion of the Epic Games Store has gotten really contentious and very argumentative lately, so before we go further, calm yourself by looking at this soothing picture of Jolo Truglio. Let his peaceful face center you and prepare you for the trials and tribulations of the day ahead. Ah. Ah, uh, right, on to business. At the Epic Games Store will block your account if you buy too many games at once. Oh, I shouldn't say at once. It'll block your account if you buy too many games too quickly. You cannot buy them at once. And that does seem to play into the problem because, as has been pointed out many times before, because it's very well worth pointing out, there's no shopping cart, folks. There is no shopping cart at the Epic Games Store, which is a problem that's been compounded lately by the fact that Epic's had its very first mega sale and you have to buy everything individually, which is silly. Out of all of the missing features on the Epic Games Store, the lack of a shopping cart seems to be one of the most consistently irritating. It's annoying in general, but the Epic Mega Sale made it even more of an inconvenience. And now with Epic triggering fraud protection, if you buy too many games too quickly, it becomes more and more apparent that this shouldn't be on the long-term portion of the Epic Games Store roadmap. But it is listed as one of the least pressing matters for the store. When the store roadmap was published in March, the shopping cart was put into the long-term column, meaning it's been due to come out roughly six months from then. Streamer Angriest Pat bought five games, ranging from $5 to $50, and as a result of doing that too swiftly, the Epic Store had flagged his account as possibly fraudulent. Epic PR man Nick Chester, who for disclosure purposes used to be my boss at Destructoid, said that this was a result of our aggressive fraud rules. If players run into this issue, they should contact player support so we can investigate. It's weird doing the industry voice when you know for definite that that person sounds nothing like that. Now there's been a lot of negative Epic Game Store news. There's not a lot of really positive stuff. It's not like the Epic Games Store has saved a dog from a man with a wrench or anything. What? With Epic's continued aggressive business tactics when it comes to hunting down exclusives, with the confusion that was the Epic Game Store mega sale, with several developers feeling blindsided by the whole thing, and with Epic coming under fire as a company for using crunch in a, in a never-ending way to overwork and overstress its employees, Epic hasn't been faring too well when it comes to publicity, although it does have to be said that this doesn't seem to be phasing Epic too much because the Epic Store, despite all the controversy and the number of vocal critics of the store, well, I mean, it's still proving to be successful nonetheless, but, you know, having the amount of money that Epic has and being able to uh, secure so many exclusives for itself to railroad people into using it, it's hardly surprising, but even then, the games that are on the store have been reporting some pretty successful launches there. And we don't really know uh, whether those games would have performed better if they were on Steam instead of the Epic Store. We don't know how much better it would be if uh, the game had launched. I mean, any given game that's exclusive had launched on Epic and Steam at the same time. We just don't know because we don't have access to parallel universes where we could see these realities play out. What we do know is that, as I've said before, uh, these companies that are taking these deals with Epic they're not just uh, pissing in the dark here. They have run their calculations and they have determined that the PR hit they might take, the vocal flack they might take for going exclusive with Epic is well worth it because the money is there. Basically, this all comes down to having a lot of money. If you've got the amount of money that Epic's got, you can fuck up almost as many times as you like. And if you are someone who vocally hates the Epic Store, and what I've just said sounds a little bit unfair, a little bit like the system is rigged, yep. Be sure to reserve some anger for an economic system in which those who already have lots and lots of money have way more opportunities than anybody else to keep making 
even more money. Now, when it comes to discussion around the Epic Store, there's a reason why I calmed you all down with a lovely picture of Jolo Truglio earlier, and that's because we are firmly in the backlash to the backlash, which is what I've been calling it on this channel, even though from the beginning I should have just called it the backlash lash. Backlash lash is when something gets a lot of backlash and then some other people chime in afterwards to be angry at those who are angry at the thing that made them angry. Usually one story, one extra thing comes out that proves to be too much for some people, and this story has proven too much for some people. Kotaku ran the story on this, and it was fairly straightforward. All they really did was share the information, and the one bit of opinion that is in it is writer Luke Plunkett saying, what a weird store. One of the responses to that, I just, I, I wanna read it because it's, it's quite impeccable. Um, this is a comment and it goes like this. Why is it that gain journalism is perpetuating this hate? toward the eggs. You work reporting with games and their development. Games are software, and software development has evolved in SAS in almost every aspect. This is clearly a found issue they will address. It sucks for sure, but it is stupid to consider they wouldn't. So why the headline? Why the hate? Why the lack of understanding of how this stuff works? It feels, Nass, if you are feeding into these recent trend of just hating on them. Even read articles making the sale into a negative when they will eat the cost. I just don't see the hate and why it is being continued for stupid reasons. Yeah, I don't see the hate either. Oh, you meant that in a different way. I bring this up not just because it's a funny comment, but because it shines a light on that backlash lash I've been talking about. And we're in yet another situation, this comes up every few years, we're in a situation where some people are being called entitled for disliking something, and the other people are being called elitist, or, well, I mean, in some cases they're just being called Valve Cuck Boys or epic cuck boys, because that's the level that we're at now. I've seen quite a bit of pushback against uh, anyone publishing a story on this situation, which is weird because, in my opinion, it's one of the more pertinent stories regarding the epic store. Some people have banks that are very, very, very touchy when it comes to fraud prevention, and oh, Fucking boy, do I speak from experience. From weird one-off purchases to regular grocery shopping, anything can fucking trigger fraud prevention out here, except actual fraudulent activity. That is the one thing I've never had my bank account card blocked for. But there's a 50-50 shot with any legit purchase I make. I'm gonna have to call the bank at some point to get them to unlock my card. I can speak with full confidence that if I bought one too many games on the Epic Store, one after the other, my card will get locked. It literally will. So I'm glad this story's out there. I'm glad I know because I hate having to call the bank. I fucking hate it. I've got no love for Valve. You all know that. I've said screw Steam, I've said fuck Steam, I've said do a hot sticky dump on Steam so many times over the years. I want there to be a contest in the PC digital distribution market. I think that will be healthy long term and be very beneficial for us, the customers, if it's done right. But again, we're looking at an example of Epic not being truly competitive. If they were interested in true competition, if they were interested in offering a better competing service, there would be a shopping cart already. But as always, before we go, just remember, everything Epic is doing right now is something it's not only free to do in this market, it's downright encouraged. Epic has no incentive to improve its service in a hurry. It has all the cards, because it bought all the cards. And that is, despicably, the way it is.